Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Day 91 of the God Hears Her Devotional. This morning's passages, and yes, I said passages, are in... The book of Psalm, Psalms, beginning in um, chapter 119, verses 17 through 19, as well as verses 130 through 134. So, let's get started. Grab your morning beverage of choice, as well as your water, because we need to stay hydrated. And let's dive into the word of God together. And the word says, Be good to your servants while I live, that I may obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. Continuing on in verses 130 through 134. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin roll over me. Redeem from me. Redeem me from human oppression that I may obey your precepts. One second while I prepare this scripture summary, please. Or summaries, depending on what I find. Our scripture summary for this morning comes to us from Psalm 119, verse 133. I wrote down, keep your focus on the big picture, even in the hard times. Um, and the reason I wrote that down is because... I have found myself in a pretty big season of what I like to call um, chaotic gratitude. Um, If you haven't noticed lately, my um, Bible studies have been in my parents' house because... um, the Lord has provided a way to get my bathroom remodeled. And while I am extremely grateful, um, it's provided a couple challenges. One of them being having to temporarily give up my independence for two weeks, which while I'm grateful for not having to be homeless, it is, it is a very different situation. Um, but the end result will mean more independence for myself, meaning that I can um, give myself showers instead of having to have my mom help me in that category very soon. So I'm very thankful for that. But it has provided its challenges, just like the Christian walk does. And so, while these last two weeks of the renovation have been a blessing, um, it's also been extremely difficult because I have gotten used to my routine at home. And while being here has been happy it I'm very grateful for not having to be homeless but I am definitely ready to live on my own again and um, 
The Lord has provided a way for my bathroom to get remodeled, which I am very grateful for. Um, so my main lesson for today is for those of us to focus on the big picture as much as possible. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.